Also tonight, we are following a big change at Mercyhurst University announced earlier today. And our Erie Sports Now team joining us with the developments about a major jump for the Lakers athletic department. Mike and Eva, good I evening. The pieces. move to go Division One began 10 years ago and culminated in today's announcement that the university would move to the Division One level and join the Northeast Conference. They moved to the NEC starting this fall for the 2024-25 academic year with full conference schedules. Now, the Laker for Life campaign that was started back in 2018 upgraded a number of the facilities that really started to accelerate this move. However, an invitation and final approval did not come until late last week on Friday, so this is relatively new. So what does this mean for Mercyhurst University? While well, all programs move to Division I level, hockey will remain in its current state as they were already Division I and remain with their respective conference. Wrestling is expected to join a new conference. Two other sports will become associate members in other conferences. All other programs head to the NEC. Mercyhurst will not be eligible for the NCAA championships for the first four seasons. They are also not eligible for conference titles for one, possibly two years, that according to Director of Athletics Joe Spano. But after visits from the NEC committee, no major facility upgrades are necessary moving forward at this point, and a major move that requires a lot of financial backing, but a big day and a historic one for Mercyhurst University. It was one of just excitement because I, I truly believe, like, especially in our I region where we're at, and we've been able to do it in PSAC and, you know, be in this region. I, I think it's the right step for not only for athletics, but for the university as well. I was all in. I was excited. Um, you always want to compete against the best. Um, I think we've earned it over the years. I think a lot of sports here, and I think the other thing is it's just really good for the school. It's really good for the community. Can you imagine, you know, bringing in the types of teams that we're going to bring in and all 18 sports um, or 23 sports. It's just going to be, it's going to be a fun time and exciting time. I can't wait to get started. Now, Mike and Eva, you talk about financial commitments. There is an exit fee to leave the PSAC uh, voluntarily, but then also to go into the NEC, $1.8 million to join the conference. And again, they're going to have to wait for those championships to come, but certainly an exciting day to get Division One across all, all sports. John, it's such a major endeavor. There's so much to do, right? Yeah, I mean, they've been planning through this process, scheduling. You've got to expand your staff. You've got to have the financial backing because now they're traveling all the way out to Chicago as far north as Connecticut. So a lot uh, still to do as they get ready for the fall. Thanks, John. We appreciate that, John. Thanks so much. Our coverage with the big news does not